your exclusive AccuWeather forecast from KTVO. Well, looking ahead for tonight, rain is in the forecast. At noontime, most of the activity, I'm going to get out of here the shot, let you see the local Doppler radar. And again, majority of the rain has fallen in southeast Iowa, just continuing to push into northeast Missouri. And here at the station, we've received so far about two hundredths of an inch. A tumble coming in around fourteen hundredths of an inch. Temperatures right now are dropping 44 degrees cloudy skies in Kirksville just on the verge of getting that rain into Adair County humidity levels 88 percent dew point 41 winds are out of the north at 20 miles per hour 40 degrees in Atomla humidity levels 92 percent dew point 38 winds are out of the north at 22 miles per hour well let's go back and we topped out actually at 63 degrees here at the station very early in the day and then temperatures continue to fall as we headed into the afternoon hours. Look at all the snow back into Colorado and moving into central uh, Kansas area where they're getting a measurable measurable amounts there as it continues to north move north and east a lot warmer temperatures and that change has not happened yet for the most part still northwest Missouri southwestern portions of Iowa are getting a changeover to a rain snow mix for tonight right now it looks like that is going to stay to the west of us I-35 and west that's where they're expecting the snow possibly up to an inch or so of accumulation uh, southeast Iowa could see a rain changing over to some sleet as we're heading into the overnight hour. So again, on your way to work and school tomorrow morning, you need to take things a little carefully out on the roadway. We do have some uh, wet roads to contend with now. And also we're going to continue with some rain, possibly up to an inch of rain that's going to continue to fall across the area for tonight. Temperature wise, 37 degrees. Northeast winds 15 to 25 miles per hour. Tomorrow morning, starting things off cloudy and wet. Then we'll see uh, that rent, that system move off to the east, giving way to partly sunny skies. 49 degrees, another chilly day. Windy conditions will remain out of the northeast, 15 to 20, with gusts up to 28 miles per hour. Cold night moving in tomorrow night, 29 degrees with clear skies. Northeast winds light, 5 to 10 miles per hour. Looking ahead for the weekend, well, it looks like it's going to be a pretty decent weekend. Slight moderation into temperatures. The next system is going to stay well off to the north and west of our viewing area, so not having to worry about that. But yet another system moving into the Pacific Northwest is going to affect us late Monday night. 53 degrees on, on Friday. A lot of sunshine. Overnight lows Friday night, upper 30s. 60 degrees warming things up on Saturday. 56 and sunny skies on Sunday. And then 58 on Monday. We'll see mostly sunny skies during the day, 60% chance of showers moving in late Monday night into Tuesday. Of course, you can get your forecast 24-7 at heartlandconnection.com. So again, uh, mostly it looks like right now, mostly in northeast Missouri, it'll be rain. Southeast Iowa could see a little bit of a rain and sleet mix. So again, just take things carefully 